Hey what's up everybody welcome back to one more Elden Rings video On this video I want to show you guys how you can get the white samurai armor The Okino mask and also one of the best katanas in the game And quite honestly this is gonna be the best samurai set that you can have in the game The armor itself and also the mask they go really well together But you don't find them in the same place so I'm gonna show you how you can get both And also this katana it's gotta be one of the best katanas that you can get in the game. Now for the armor you have the wide reed armor, the wide reed gauntlets and the wide reed greaves. That what comes from the armor, only three pieces. But also I'm gonna show you how you can get the Okino mask. Now this mask is not just only for the looks of it, because actually it will raise your dexterity as it lowers your focus. Now last but not least we have the Rivers of Blood Katana. One of the best katanas that you can get in the game. It has a unique skilled corpse piler. Forms a blade of course blood for repeated interweaving successive attacks follow up with additional input for further successive attacks now the way to obtain this set that's gonna be all the way in the top right side of your map on the snowy area right uh, more specifically it's gonna be right here inside of this cave the spirit colors cave now to get here you want to come from the all the way down here right you need to defeat the boss on the elden drone and then from there you're gonna get the medallion that's gonna allow you to go to the forbidden lands and then from here you're gonna grab the grand lifts of the road from there you will get to the zamur ruins which is the first side of grace that you're gonna find in a snowy area now from here you want to travel all the way up until you get to the side of grace right here the freezing lake And then from here I'm gonna show you how you can get into the cave and inside of the cave I do want to show you how you can get easily to that armor As, as you get in here, this is gonna be closed. You're gonna need to use a sword stone to open this up. Once you open it up, you wanna get inside and follow up my path until you find this side of grace right here. Now from here, you wanna use your lantern or your torch, whatever you have, and let's go forward. Now, as you go forward right over here, this hole is gonna open up in the ground and you're gonna fell in it, right? It's just like I did. Now, you actually do wanna fell in there uh, if you want to go to the boss room and also to get that armor so in here now there's gonna be that NPC right there you can see it right there it doesn't see us yet you want to kill whatever NPC that you see like that as soon as possible if you have a range attack just kill it if you have a melee you want to run in there and kill it as fast as possible because that's the reason all of these other NPCs are spawning as soon as you kill it all of the other NPCs will despawn now from here you want to go forward and then right here right under us you want to fall down and kill this other one right here because he's gonna spawn a samurai which is very very dangerous now the next one actually you could just go and run and get that samurai armor so run this way as i'm showing you grab that armor and get out of here so right here on this dead body you want to pick up that samurai armor and then run back because these NPCs are gonna destroy you. Now, if you guys want to know the stats, this is gonna be right here: the white reed armor, the white reed uh, gauntlets, and also the white reed greaves. Now, for the mask and also for the katana, we want to go back again right here on the top. We're gonna start from the side of Grace, the freezing lake, and from there we're gonna go all the way down until you get to the Church of Reposo. Church of Reposo, it's where we're gonna find an NPC that's gonna invade us, and by killing him, we're gonna get the katana and also the mask.
Now, as you are getting close to the church, you're gonna notice you're gonna get invaded by the Okino uh, NPC. Now, try to kill him and don't get hit by it because it will kill you fast. So after you kill him, you're gonna get the Okino Mask and also the Blood River Katana. So with that said, now you have the Okino Mask, the Blood River Katana and also one of the best looking armor set for the Samurai in the game and you're all set to go. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed hit me with a like, I would appreciate. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.